So in this problem, we're asked to differentiate the function f of x, which is equal to the ln 324 times the sine squared of x. And so what we're going to use is the chain rule to solve this problem. But there's something you should know, too. The derivative of the ln of x is equal to 1 over x. And that's something that you have to memorize for later on in calculus because it's going to be necessary to solve problems uh, with natural logs. So let's just first rewrite our problems. We have f of x is equal to the ln of 324 times sine squared of x. And so what we're going to do here is use the chain rule. So the chain rule tells us that we take the derivative of our outside with respect to our inside and then multiply it by the derivative of our inside. So the derivative of the ln of x is just 1 over x. But instead of x, we've got to replace it with our inside. So let's just write it. So f prime of x, which is our derivative, is equal to, first, we have 1 over uh, the inside, so 324 times the sine squared of x. And then we got to multiply by the derivative of our inside. So what is the derivative of 324 times the sine squared of x? So we have a constant out front. So it's just 324 times the derivative with respect to x of the sine squared of x. And so instead of writing it as sine squared of x, I'm going to choose to write it as uh, sine of x squared because they're basically the same thing. But now that we have it like this, it makes it much easier to do like in our heads. So we're going to use the power rule. So what we do is move our 2 out front and then subtract 1 from 2, which will just come 1. So we don't need an exponent anymore. So this will just become um, 648 times uh, the sine of x. So now that we got that, we just need to find the derivative of sine of x. So what is the derivative of sine of x? The derivative with respect to x of sine of x is cosine of x. And that's something that you just have to mem memorize for trig. So now we just got to write cosine of x here. And so now that we have that, we have our answer. So f prime of x is equal to 1 over 324 times the sine squared of x times 648 times the sine of x times cosine of x. And now you can simplify this more, but this answer will work for you. And so this is going to be the answer to this problem.